The lights are about to go down inside the Masari Arena in Pueblo, Colorado, where LFA 10 gave us some of the greatest fights of the year. Get everybody, Michael Chavello, alongside UFC Hall of Famer Pat Militich. Pat, what a night we saw in the fight we're about to show you highlights of. Stole the show. Michael Perez and Adam Martinez delivered something extraordinary. Perez, the Cuban Olympic wrestler, came out strong early in the fight. But I tell you what, Martinez and he went back and forth, constantly scrambling. Here's the banana split. This will basically destroy your groin muscles. It is a horribly painful submission. And Martinez survived it. Both guys dropping each other with those punches. That was an exciting moment in this fight. Martinez actually got one more knockdown than Perez in that round. But back and forth they went, and that right hand lands. Perez gets hurt, falls down into a takedown. Martinez senses he's hurt, gets the arm in guillotine, and gets the finish. Martinez, the first man to defeat Michael Perez. Martinez, four and one. Perez now three and one. Next up, Andrew Tennyson took on Andrew Yates, and it didn't take long for Tennyson to put Yates to sleep. Andrew, Andrew Tennyson made Sakuraba proud with his submission. I mean, this is a qu quick hitter. You can see he's got it locked up. He stacks him and then transfers, transitions off the arm in guillotine to just the neck, locks him down in the well, and good night. He falls asleep and starts dreaming. The Sakuraba inspired Tennyson goes six and one. Yates drifts off to sleep and he's nine and three. Co-main event, Nick Ursay took on Brandon Roy Val in a flyweight bat, back and forth battle. This was a cracker. You know what, Roy Val is such a slick little athlete on his back and he spent the majority of the fight there. Nick Urso, his dominant strength, his just positioning, overall positioning on the ground was exceptional. Roy Val so creative, not able to get a submission. Nick Urso just wearing him down and beating him up. Brandon Roy Val falling to five and three. Nick Urso taking a decision, goes 10 and three. Main event saw Lucas Holter from Brazil take on Ian Heinisch. Heinisch came in seven and oh, made short work of the confident Brazilian. Ah, uh, Holter's a very, very tough guy, but Heinisch, his striking look great, his movement, footwork, everything, and then once he got him to the ground, brilliant positioning, slides from the mount into a headlock, and then gets the shoulder lock here. Devastating move. Hota had no choice, you gotta tap. Heinisch going 8-0 and sending a message to UFC matchmaker Mick Maynard saying he wants a call-up. Hota falling to 12-7. and seven. Folks, join us next Friday night from Foxwoods Casino. It's Lion Fight Muay Thai goodness.